Don't let this be Sheldon playing bongos. Please don't let this be Sheldon playing bongos. Hello, Leonard. Do you like my bongos? Bet you didn't know that I had bongos. Sheldon, it's three o'clock in the morning. Three in the morning is a good time for bongos. I was sleeping. Leonard sleeps while I play bongos. No, he doesn't. Leonard no sleep while I play bongos. Bongo solo. Guess what? Sheldon got bongos. Why did you get bongos? Richard Feynman played the bongos. I thought I'd give that a try. Richard Feynman was a famous physicist. Leonard, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't care if Richard Feynman was a purple leprechaun who lived in my butt. Penny meant if he were a purple leprechaun. Penny forgot to use the subjunctive. Sheldon, go to bed. You have work in the morning. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe tomorrow I start a bongo band and tour the world. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, uh, roommate agreement. Uh, um, no uh, hoot nannies, sing alongs, or barbershop quartets after 10 p.m. Roommate agreement? Are you kidding? We are living in a world of chaos. <laughs> roommate agreement. Where are you going? Wherever the music takes me, kitten. <laughs> so much. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Howard, your pants is getting cold! <laughs> Don't worry, once she falls asleep, I'll spoon you like an armadillo. <laughs> he showed up in the middle of the night with his bongos. I foolishly thought it was some sort of musical booty call. Poor guy. He must have been exhausted. Shouldn't let this thing well, It was kind of uncalled for. No, it was called for. <laughs> What's going on? All right, Sheldon, this craziness has gone on long enough. Please come home so I can cut your hair. Penny, you're not trained. You're not licensed. It, most importantly, you don't have access to my haircut records. <laughs> We've known each other for a long time now, right? I I've taken you to Disneyland. I kicked a bully in the nuts for you. I sing you soft kitty when you're sick. You've even seen me naked once. I'm sorry, no, what? <laughs> it was a long story. Anyway, Sheldon, I promise I know what I'm doing. Please let me cut your hair. Amy, what do you think? There's not a hair on my body I wouldn't let this woman trim. <laughs> Fine. Let's go. Thank you for letting me sleep on your couch. There's only so many times a woman can say, how about the bed? What's this about Sheldon seeing you naked? Oh, relax. It was just her bottom and her breasts. 